Gillette Young Guns Challenge. Each week, a lucky fan will win $5,000. Go to GilletteYoungGuns.com for details. Tony Stewart, our leader at 171 laps, but there's a big bullseye closing in his mirror. I know a young gun that's about to lead this race, and it's Casey Mears in that 41 car. His car works good on the bottom. It works good up top. He pretty much can run that car anywhere he wants to. The biggest thing this kid has going for him right now, confidence. Well, he's got that, and he's using it. He's got a fast car, too. Look at him right around. He's, at the, he's in the Tony Stewart lane right there, right around the bottom of the racetrack. And look at him side by side. Casey Mears wants to lead this race. And back in fourth place, Dale Jr., Ryan Newman. Go at it. Casey Mears, did, lead. Casey Mears did lead that lap at the start-finish line. Look at these guys. I mean, this is 175 laps into this race, and look at Greg Biffle in the 16 right there watching all this. Now, when Biffle went up and led a lap, Stewart went right back by him. He's not having such an easy time with Mears. You never know about Tony what he's thinking. He might be just checking these kids out, saying, you know, where are you? What do you got, kid? But just look right there. All three makes represented one, two, three, Dodge, Chevrolet, and Ford. Greg Biffle trying to figure out which one of these guys will prevail. Yeah, and while they're doing that, Dale Jr. is closing up at a high rate of speed. And hey, Ryan Newman in the 12's not far behind him. Well, Jr. just got by him, and now Jr.'s going to be right up in the middle of this whole little deal right here. Let's take parity a step further. As Biffle almost brushed the wall there. Of the lead lap cars, five are Dodges, four are Chevys, four are Fords. Don't get much better than that. But you know Biffle, he's going to wear that right rear quarter panel out. He did, he's done it ever since I was with trucks, bush cars, cup. Junior has a look under Biffle. having the spot being two different things, Darrell. Yeah, he had to get up out of the trial, and here comes Ryan Newman right back underneath him going down into turn one. So he's going to have to regroup. Talk about comers and gores. The car right behind these guys, the six car, Mark Martin, his car was not that good in the early going, got a lap down, but he's right up there in position to get the pardon or the free pass should we get a caution. He's been running with these leaders now for 25 laps. Let's talk about misses. That missed lug nut on Casey Kane, where he had to make an extra pit stop with 14 cars in the lead lap. Kane has gained only one position since the restart. He is 13th as Casey Mears goes back to the lead. Look at Greg Biffle. He's right there he's down to the bottom. Look at the different lines with these guys. I think Tony let that, uh, I think he wanted to get that 41 car out from behind him. Dick Bergman. Jimmy Allen just Casey Mears, crew chief. We heard earlier on the radio that he was struggling with his shoulder that was going to sleep. How's he doing out there? Looks like he don't hurt too bad. He's doing really well, though. Really proud of him, man. It's pretty cool to see him lead this race. And, you know, really neat deal. Doing a great job. Good night. this new tire and uh, obviously it's paying off today uh, kind of struggled early in the week when we applied them things that we learned so uh, it's just been a real good day so far and you should hear his Dale Jr. on the radio he is ecstatic at one point he yelled whoa look at me <laughs> maybe it was just that yeah. when he and Tony got tired yeah, I think if you want to look at why he was hollering at the, whoa look at me watch this right watch this shot he and Tony come down through here and they exchange greetings this is coming off turn four onto the front straightaway ryan newman in the 12 on the bottom i'm gonna tell you what tony stewart in the 20 beats that left front fender up he's gonna be dog meat yeah he is and i think it uh, he wasn't happy about junior trying to slide up in front of him well now that they've gotten past tony casey mears and greg biffle are going to battle for the lead but you know i thought tony kind of let mears go by but it looks like tony's got a little bit of a problem he's kind of drifting <laughs> back right, don't worry about nothing behind you Look at Biffle off that last corner, Daryl. That car of Greg Biffle's got really loose. He likes it that way. 
he just, I, I tell you, he'll, he'll wear that right rear out on that thing, rubbing it up against the wall. Yeah, I mean, he runs every lap like it's the last lap. We need to also document Rusty Wallace is back out on the racetrack with a new transmission, 33 laps down to the leader. Well, if Biffle likes the rear end hung out like that, he's going to love Darlington next Sunday. <laughs> yep. It's going to be interesting to see how the safer barriers down there affect the racing because uh, they've taken away 26 inches of groove of racetrack. You know, I read some quotes from Casey Mears, the 41 car this week, and people were asking him all winter long, is your job in jeopardy? And he said, you know what? Chip Ganassi made a promise to me he would stick with me no matter what through two years. I think Chip Ganassi made a good move by sticking with him. Well, and that's the best confidence builder you can get. Never mind what you read and never mind all the rumors and the whispers in the garage. You go right to your car owner, and when he gives you the vote of confidence, that means a lot. It's all about performance. You perform, your owner will be very proud and happy of you. It's a pretty simple formula, right? Casey Mears leads Greg Biffle and Ryan Newman in Atlanta.